Today, uh, for my intent message, I want to let you know that we are fully aware that the real hazards are happening in real time to real people that are on the ground today and exposed to those risks that we talk about when we're planning, but that you guys deal with every day, out on the ground, real time, real exposure. So with that in mind, we'd like to suggest that you use your experience, your knowledge, uh, keep your awareness up, uh, and take good care of one another, and uh, get off shift at the end of the day in a safe fashion. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. John Bonk, incident meteorologist. It's going to be the last of our kind of cooler, moderated humidity days. Uh, really, uh, you know, no tremendous impacts from weather. Maybe a little bit of light rain again this morning as some of these lower clouds go by. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, pretty pretty mild day weather-wise. First thing to think about, we had a little bit of rain over most of the fire last night, but we and yesterday afternoon. But it was very light, and it wasn't widespread. And I think most of you know, but if you're new to the fire, you should know. Black spruce filled with resin, very ready to burn. We had a good rain event a few days ago. That's no longer buying us much. Today, it's going to be cool and cooler and moister, right? And so when you get those breaks in the clouds overhead, you might see some fire behavior pick up. That's pretty straightforward. But otherwise, this is a good day to get after your missions, to build those containment lines and recharge yourselves. Because from tomorrow on, we're looking at warming and drying, and we'll have increased fire behavior and activity. Even if we get another little shot of rain here and there today, that's what I would expect going forward. So take care of yourselves today and uh, pay attention to how everybody's feeling because you're not going to get much relief over the next week. And we need you um, aiding. So looking forward to seeing you out there and thanks for all the good work. Good morning. Laura Livingston, one of the safety officers with the team. Uh, current count, we have nine safety officers on this fire scattered around between the line, the camp here, and ICP. So at last count, there were approximately 700 of you out on the line or here in camp. Um, so nine of us can only go so far. We're counting on you guys to be our eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, we're trying to identify hazards as best we can, but you guys are the ones that are going to see it first. So if you see things out there that we are not picking up on, please bring that to the attention of your supervisor, one of our line safeties are here in camp. Good morning, Mary Morrison Finance. Uh, all the finance folks will be right underneath this veranda collecting time after your breakouts today. And for those in the field, if you can please work with your division or your branch to make sure your time gets shuttled in every couple days, we'd sure appreciate it. Thanks so much. Good morning, Tim Dabney, agency administrator, and happy Independence Day, Americans. Uh, thank you. A little shout out there, yep. All right, uh, thank you on behalf of Martin, Perfect Perch, Lincoln, McLeod, and Chitt Chattanooga River Corridor communities uh, for spending your 4th of July protecting their homes and lives, and for some of you, protecting your own homes. Uh, right here in camp and out on the line there and back in Fairbanks, uh, there are folks that are uh, working on this fire to protect their own homes. So uh, uh, have a great shift, and uh, thanks for being away from your homes to help us with this. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, again, too, I also wanted to thank everybody. Uh, happy Fourth of July and for being out here and uh, not at home. Uh, but let's try not to have too many fireworks out there on the line today. <laughs> Do want to make sure that we're keeping up with that common operating picture that we've been talking about. Uh, we changed some names. This is Moose uh, Base Camp. Uh, it's Pearl ICP and it's Shovel Staging. Uh, we've moved the ICP, the command post, out of, uh, of the Moose Mountain Camp area to try to make a little more room for the folks that are here and a little more room for the uh, IMT to be able to to produce all the stuff we need to support uh, you in the field. And my message for today is to remember that, that what you do out here matters. Whether you're uh, in camp here, uh, serving food, helping uh, to park cars, you're on the line putting in the uh, uh, hand line, dozer line, uh, we're putting up sprinklers around town, around the houses, or we're in town talking to people. Uh, what you do out there, every one of us, what we do matters. As we function around out here going through the day, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're representing not only yourself, uh, but your crew, your engine, this fire, and our community. Uh, we like to refer to ourselves as the Green Pant Nation. When you're running through town and you're out there in the community, you see running into people 
you're running into each other. It doesn't matter whether you work for DNR or the Forest Service or BLM or you're a contractor. Uh, we're all firefighters out here. We're all out here to do a job. We're out here to help the, the public. Uh, for them, it's an emergency. For this, it's our job. So remember, what you do out there matters. You can make a difference uh, to everybody uh, out there just by doing some little simple little things, uh, being nice to each other, doing your job well, uh, and uh, helping out your teammates. So let's have a good day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.